<clears throat> Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to some more top-down scrolling tutorial. In the last video, we covered basic uh, movement and map connections. Today, we're going to cover wall um, wall collision. That's the word I was looking for. Wall collision and uh, static NPCs and moving NPCs. That means static as in the NPCs that just stay in one spot, and moving NPCs as in NPCs that can move around. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so what we're going to want to do first is obviously set up the... Um, the wall collision system this one's actually pretty pretty easy uh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come into costumes and i'm gonna name this idol name your original one idol copy this call it up then you're going to control a or command a if you're on mac and go up 10 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you can do that by pressing up um then duplicate again duplicate idol call it down go down 10 Go back to idle, duplicate it, call this one right, control A. And then I bet you can guess what we're gonna do with this last one. Call it left, control A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, now we have an idle and we have ones that move slightly in each direction. It's so small that it's barely noticeable, however, it'll get it'll stop getting stuck in objects. So now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this all out for the for the time being and put in an if else. Then we're going to grab an if touching color. We're just going to choose black because black is the color that, of like walls is what I'm going to use. Um, so if touching color black, then what we need to do is actually hold up. Am I bad? No, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wrong thing. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Grab some ores. We need four of them. Well, we need there to be four slots and then just paste all these in here so up down this is what we're going to check to make it go back to idle um okay now i can smack that in there and then put switch to costume idle at the bottom right there so for up you can put costume up obviously you can do you can put all these in i'm sure you can figure out how to plug these in it's not that difficult you're literally watching me doing it right now there we go and let's see what we have cool now you see we kind of move a little bit like that and then when we let go we go back you see it's barely noticeable but trust me it will uh make this a lot easier on us now what we need to do is grab ourselves and if else and then inside put touching color black touching color black um put this in the bottom well, actually, before I even do that, let me actually do it four times just so I can have it ready. Smack that in the bottom. Smack that in the bottom. And in the bottom. Bam, now you have that. Now in these top sections, you're going to take your change. You're going to change player Y by the opposite. So that's negative three, so you're going to make it three. In here. It's positive three down there, so we're gonna make this negative three. Now we got, oop, that's set. I need to change. Change player X, that means that's three. Then this other way around, player X has to be negative three. Pretty easy. Oh, sorry if you hear stuff downstairs. There's an office below me. They're, they're watching something, I don't know. They're, they're weird here. I'll turn down my microphone a bit. There, maybe we'll pick it up now. Okay, anyways. So what we need to do is now we can test it. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that's all it was for wall detection, if I remember correctly. So we come down here, stops us from going in. Oh no, okay, we can do that. We can do that. That's the problem. It's very touchy. Um, I'm looking at my other project. One second. Okay, so I formatted it a bit different on mine, and I'm guessing that's the problem. So the way I did it here is I put the up like that, and then I just had this, which makes sense now that I think about it. That makes a lot more sense because if you put that in there, it has to run another set. Of, it has to run another little line of code before it can actually move your character. So that's that makes a lot of sense why I did that. 
that makes a lot of sense why I did that. Sorry, they're like watching something down there. I'm super sorry. I hate it when that happens. But you know, you do you deal with what you deal with. Alright, anyways. Let's take a look. We go down. Can't go through. And now look at that. Now it actually lets us out. See it touching it? See, when you do this, now it goes the opposite direction if you can get it in there just right, but however, you can't get yourself actually in it. And that's why we had it move up 10, because if we didn't have it move up 10, it'd go down into it, which is why we have it move 10 pixels in each direction every single time. All right, cool. There's our wall collision. I don't know, because any color black, so just make sure you outline everything that you don't want to collide with in black. Uh, sorry, yeah, that might be a little bit of a thing that you don't want to do, but whatever. It's what you got to do. All right, now we're going to make static NPCs. So we're going to make a thing called static NPC. Hold up one second. I'll be right back. I got to go fix that noise down there. <laughs> All right. I closed the door to my office. So uh, here we are, and we're going to create an NPC real quick. And now there's just vehicles outside. All right, so I'll make them red. That seems good. I'll make them about the same size. We're just going to call him NPC1. Okay. Now, this is where it gets kind of easy. We're going to make a variable called NPCX. And another one called NPCY. Make sure they're both for this sprite only. You can hide them. Then you could really, if you want to, just come to world and drag in both of your things. Okay, when you come back in here now, Spread this out, take off that entire thing. Um, so we have this. Change your repeat to one. Remember to be to be changing that every single time you do that. Uh, don't use this change. You're gonna want to make something for this sprite only, called change NPC. That's just so it doesn't run at the same time as your world generation. So just do that. And also having it for this sprite only just makes it so this doesn't show up when you're in other sprites. It's just stuff so this gets less cluttered. So now you are, and what you need to do is you need to get yourself a plus, and you need to put in, oh boy, you need to put in world X, and then put in player X, slap that in there, you know the drill, you know how it, you know how it be, you know how it do, that'd be player Y, and oh, and not, not world X, right, because we're not doing world X right now, so... You can get rid you, you can go ahead and actually delete these world X's. Not necessary anymore. Um, so up here, don't forget to then set NPC X and get a set NPC Y. Then NPC X, NPC Y, player X plus NPC X, player Y plus NPC Y. We have to to, to establish where this one goes is much easier than the map. So you take them, put them wherever you want. Let's say you want them right there. See these coordinates right here? So your NPC X is the same as wherever you put it, 172. And then your Y over here, minus 100, just like that. And now that's it. That's all you need to do for a static NPC. There he is. And you do, okay, so make sure you hide. Make sure you hide the original one because it creates a clone. And then look at that. You have a, you have a clone. You have an NPC right there. Super simple. Now, what if you wanted to like talk to him? That gets into a bit more different kind of stuff. So, oh boy. So, this is where you'd make a whole new thing. Not a whole, I mean, start a new clone script. Just duplicate this just to get this. The if the number, the costume number thing. If costume number equals one, uh, grab yourself forever. Forever. If costume number equals one. If, grab yourself an and, if touching mouse pointer and mouse down, that's the equivalent of clicking the sprite. I'm going to do, I'm doing it by click. It, you could easily do this if, um, if touching player and key space press or like key Z press, whatever you want you to talk. I'm just going to do clicking because that's what I'm going to do for the game that I'm currently working on <gasps> coming out eventually. Um, then we will have him say hello for one second. Okay, let's try it. Walk to him and you click him. And he says hello. Hello. 
yeah, super nice. Cool. Now you ask, and again, if you wanted to make a new one, you duplicate this, you make his coordinates wherever you want, uh, make a new sprite or a new costume for him and change your repeat and then duplicate this if you wanted him to actually do something when you talk to him. All right, cool. Now let's do the same thing, but we're making a moving NPC. You could put this in your sta in your static NPC and just name it NPC. I like to separate the two just because I'm me. So right here, you can keep this change NPC because it's for this sprite only. Remember change NPC for this sprite only, NPC X, NPC Y, all just for this sprite only. Don't worry, changing these ones will not affect anything in your NPC uh, static NPC. So you can delete those, that's just fine. Keep these exactly how they are. Keep this exactly how they are. And let's change the color of this guy just so we can affiliate both of them between the two. Make that one pink. And we'll have this guy go here. And this guy, so make sure you change that. So mine's 168 right there, so change that to 168. Mine's negative 100, change it to negative 100. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna delete that when you start the game. Look at that, you have another, oh, don't have to hide it. You have another NPC, just chilling out. That's another static NPC. How do we make him move? Let's say you want him to like move in a pattern over and over and over again. So, again, don't forget to do this. You don't need a forever loop this time. It's for your moving NPC. If costume number equals one, then here's what he's gonna do. Repeat 10 times maybe. Repeat 10 times, we'll have them go, ooh, I don't know. And you're going to, this is how you're gonna make them move. We'll do change NPC Y by, I don't know, 10. And then I'll have them go back, negative 10. That's just a basic example of a movement. Let's take a look. Okay, we have it move. Ah, right, you, okay, forever loop inside of the if you don't need it outside you need it inside okay there we go there we go look doing this now let's see if we move look at that he stays in, stays in that one spot just like that and keeps moving isn't that cool still can't go through walls <laughs> super cool look at that ah oh, he's moving around and all that good kind of stuff yeah you can go through them i mean you could outline them in black if you really didn't want it to actually what happened if i outlined that one in black hold up hold up now i want to see now I want to see what happens if I outline him in black and like run next to it. What happens? Okay. Let's try this. Do, will it push me? It wouldn't push me. That doesn't make sense. What would it do? Would I get stuck inside of it? Yeah, I would. Oh my god, it does push me. Kind of, if I keep walking. But otherwise, no, I just get stuck in it. Well, that's kind of cool. Either way, you can't get stuck in it if it's moving. Because it'll just keep pushing you out. You can easily get yourself out of that. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, that's how to get a static NPC. And again, if you want to make this one talkable too, you just do this. Super easy, super basic. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll just, if, I, if I want to do that, just take this, move him in here. There you go. That's all you gotta do. Hello, hello, hello. And you, again, you can walk super far away from them. Doesn't matter. They'll keep doing their thing over there. You can come back over to the side and they'll still be doing their thing. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, the, actually, before I even say that, if you want to see any other things added to this, this is my last tutorial planned. But if you want to see anything else added to this in the future, uh, definitely let me know. Because I would be glad to add anything that you want me to add. Um, this is all I could think of. I think this is like the only thing I could think of that's actually necessary for your for your thing. But if you guys can think of something else, definitely let me know. Again, I will add it for you. I'll work on adding it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways. Because I'm surprised I could even get this to work. Um... While you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content that helped me out a lot. According to the YouTube statistics, only a very, very, very small percentage of you are actually subscribed out of the ones that watch. So why don't you just go down there, check if you are. And if you aren't, go ahead, go ahead, just click the subscribe button. It's super fast, it's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like what you see. 
Discord in the description. Go join it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.